Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy. Did you recently do macOS update and this folder called Relocated Items appeared on the desktop? Don't worry about it, I have it there too. But let me explain what does it mean and if you can actually delete it. The short answer for your question is yes, you can delete it. Thanks for watching. But wait, are you actually interested about what it is? The first thing I want you to notice is that it isn't actually a folder on your desktop. This is just an alias, like an icon. Notice the little arrow here at the bottom left hand corner of the folder telling you that the folder really isn't located here, it's somewhere else. If you right click it and select show original, it will open the original folder which is located in your user shared folder. So if you just delete this alias from the desktop, the relocated items folder doesn't go anywhere. The files will remain on their original position. The files will not be deleted. But don't worry about it, they are really tiny and doesn't take any space on your drive. But if you want to clean up every byte of your space, then let's find out the folder once more and see what's in there. So click on desktop, open computer from the go menu. Here select hard drive, users and shared folder. And here you will find that folder and maybe any previous ones as well if you haven't dealt with it before. So what is inside there? It might be a little bit different in your case, but usually you've got a folder here and a PDF called what are relocated items. Let's take a look at the PDF first. It explains what these files are, but it's using a lot of technical words, doesn't really explain much. But if I translate it into a normal language, it says that these are configuration files. These are files that are part of your system that are somehow different than what's being installed during the update. So these are just old copies, but why they are different? It says that these files are modified or customized by you or another user. But if you are sure you haven't modified any of these configuration files, it can also be done by any application you are using. If you have installed an app that for some reason modified your system configuration, that is the reason why system replaced these items again for the original versions. The easiest way how to summarize it is to say that these files are actually old versions of macOS which is somehow different than the new version. It doesn't need to be you or any app that changed it. It's just simply different from the old version to the new version. But a system update for some reason is not smart enough to figure it out. It just sees that it's somehow different and thinks, maybe you have changed it, maybe you need it, I probably shouldn't delete it and I'm going to save a copy for you just in case. So what is it then? Well, let's open the configuration folder, private, another folder called etc. And then one file called group system default. So this isn't something you would normally modify or any app would normally do. If I right click it I can find out that the size is almost zero. In fact the PDF explaining you about this is many times bigger than the actual file that's being saved. So the simple things to do is just drag this to the trash and forget about it. But even if you don't do that, it doesn't take any space on your Mac so you don't need to worry about it. I hope you find this information useful and hopefully see you in the next video with more tips and tutorials. If you don't want to miss any, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.